welcome to the channel everybody we're gonna go ahead and start off a little differently um, for the crystal opening this week I uh, did finish up Cavalier last night got me just enough shards that I have a five and a six star available to open up on the backup account here and I thought we'd go ahead and just start off with them before we go over to the main so starting off with Storm Pyramid 90X um, awakening on her that's not horrible definitely will help the account some uh, let's see what we can do for a six star here this account pretty much needs as much help as possible and that is not it um, it is an awakening uh, he definitely would not have gotten an awakening gem and it puts us a little closer to our first seven star but uh, still quite a ways off on that so well, let's go ahead and get over to the main account and actually do this right. Okay, so we have plenty to open on the main account here. Just wanted to start out and see if we got anything useful for the backup account. Um, obviously, we're probably going to set at Cavalier for a minute there. We have plenty to do over here. I'm going to definitely be pushing uh, Paragon before the end of the month here. Uh, i got videos coming out on that tomorrow. We're going to continue the Cavalier and the Paragon series until both are finished. And then we will be starting a few other things. We also announced last night on stream that we are going to be doing a tournament at the end of July for anyone who has subscribed to the channel that would be interested in being part of it. Uh, we're going to do a Battlegrounds tournament where everybody is using a three-star deck. So if you're interested in that, leave a comment in the video and well, I'll reach out to you as we get things put together there. Uh, but let's go ahead and get on to the crystal opening here. Uh, right off the bat, let's go ahead and pop these Thronebreaker daily crystals. Okay, so that's nice. Um, I will definitely take that full tier 5 basic. So we are working still towards the large opening of Prim Crystals. Uh, not quite there. We're still a little under halfway but we we are going to get there guys uh, got quite a few uh, quite a few things over here to open right now uh gonna pop out some of the smallest things and work our way up am going to be doing the nexuses before we do the full crystals just because of the fact that we are going to be doing the featured six stars so i want to go ahead and get a few things out of the way first um i think what we're going to do is we're going to start with the Grandmaster Nexuses. All three stars. Let's take X23 as a premonition luck. She's worked for us before. Um, Iceman. And at least we got a five star on that one. Okay, so we have a couple of the Cavalier here uh, for Cosmic. Ideally, what we'd be looking for is Gallon, but there's several that we could take some SIG levels into without a problem. Uh, looks like we're going to go to the champion there for the four star. Five star Null. Okay, at least putting some more SIG levels into him is not a bad thing. Okay, in the science category, we are still looking for Luke Cage, Captain America Infinity War, Immortal Abomination, or Spot. So, obviously a six stars. Um, not that that matters, but we will take the five star Electro. Get some more SIG levels into him. And a five star Human Torch. Okay, not a problem. At least two five stars that time. Okay, in the skill class, we are looking for Hit Monkey or Valkyrie are the two six stars that I don't have that I know are worth. Okay, so we did get two five stars on this one. I think I'm going to score girl. And two four stars. I think I'm just going to take Hawkeye. It doesn't really matter. It's max sig crystal either way. Nobody's getting anything out of it. For the Mystic, we are looking for Rentrock, Ghost Rider, or OG Scarlet Witch. Okay, we got five stars at least. Um, definitely nice to put Black Widow a little closer to that max sig, but I, 
with Doom being as low as he is, uh, doesn't hurt to put some sig levels into him. Um, even though we do have the six star Doom, uh, if we're going to use the five star at any point in time, the more sig levels, the better. Uh, just four stars there, so I guess we'll take Hood. Okay, so we've got two Grandmaster Tech Nexuses here. Uh, just because I wanted to see what the Sunday deal would be like on the new store. Um, I honestly prefer the in-game store to the website store on Sundays by far. Uh, but I guess we'll take a Max Sig Crystal there for 5 star Star-Lord. So next up are the Cavalier Techs. Um, in tech, we are looking for Nimrod, Omega Sentinel, or Star-Lord as a 6 star. Um, well, we see Omega Sentinel. Um, it should take the 4 star, but we'll go ahead and put some sig levels into her. And hopefully it's a, and that'll give us some luck towards later. 5 star Ultron, so that's a max sig on that one. Even though I have the 7 star, I think we're going to go ahead and take the Awakening on Shuri there. Penny wouldn't have been a bad choice by any means, but... Uh, definitely taking the sig levels on Shuri. Sig levels into Silver Centurion. So we did get, we've done great 5 star wise, guys, but just nothing 6 star yet. And it doesn't look like it's going to change there. Uh, let's go ahead and do the Cavalier Nexuses, and then we will do the class-based Nexuses, and then we will move over to the full-size crystals. Got the Cavalier Nexus crystals here. Um, picked up a Nexus. We will take that. Okay, uh, two five-stars there, but really no choice. Null is definitely the one that makes more sense to put the sig levels into six star nexus that gives us two of those i guess it doesn't matter so we'll go loki okay so we got the uh, the cosmic mythic nexus here um this one we're looking for gallon as a six star and that is not going to happen but i will definitely take the sig levels into venom without a problem mystic again we're looking for rentra OG Scarlet Witch or Ghost Rider. Well, we got Rentrop, but it is not the six star that we were looking for. But we're still going to go ahead and throw the sig levels into him. Okay, on the science here, we're looking for Luke Cage, Captain America Infinity War, Immortal, Iron, uh, Immortal Abomination, or Spot. Well, we got spot, but only as a five star. So as much as I hate to take him, uh, Captain America World War II is going to get some sig levels there. Valkyrie or Hit Monkey? Ooh, okay. All five stars, but I'm taking the Awakening on Mantis. That is worth it. Okay, so we've got two six-star tech nexuses, Omega Sentinel, Star-Lord, or Nimrod. I think I gotta go OG Vision, or Vision Age of Ultron, sorry. But if it was OG Vision, it would definitely have to be him. But get a SIG 200 vision sounds like something that i want to try at some point especially as a six star uh let's see if we can see any of the three we're looking for this time oh, never mind okay um i didn't have him on the list and he should have been uh because ultron as a six star is definitely a win a hundred percent a win um i don't know what else we're gonna get out of this opening <laughs> but that right there was huge and oh gee scarlet witch guys um 
I need the sig levels into Hulk just because he doesn't necessarily need them, but I use him a lot. But OG Scarlet Witch, gotta have her. Okay, so um, we could awaken Shuri for the second time today and have the five and the six star both awakened and still have the seven star, which is going to be the one we use the most. Or we could take the brand new Ronin. And I think we're going to take Ronin, guys. Knocks out another three six stars we didn't have. Got the five star next, which we should have done first. <laughs> you know, it's been a theme lately. White Mags is going to take some more sig levels. That'll put him halfway there. Okay, let's start with this four star here and get it out of the way. Um, yeah, didn't expect anything spectacular there, but we will take the extra shards. Three of these Grand Masters and a Cavalier Crystal. All three stars. Oof, that one's a little rough there, guys. And then we're going to come down here to the Cavalier Crystal. Five star Angela, I'll take that. Take that for sure. I would have loved to have had her at that level on the backup account the other night. Go ahead and get these two mythic nexuses out of the way. All five stars. Um, let's go Dragon Man. And all five stars again. Oof. Rough. Um... I'm going to go ahead and put 20 more into Dr. Voodoo. Okay, so we got two full five stars here. Phoenix and Gambit. Okay, I don't think either one of them. Yeah, I knew neither one of them would be a max sig. And so, once again, guys, um, we have done fabulous with these featured six stars. But um, we did get Wolverine already. Still looking for the dupe on him. Uh... I'm going to continue for the entire time period that these are out that we are going to focus on just the featured ones. Uh, it's obviously, we have plenty of champions still that we're looking for, but uh, as many levels into Wolverine as I can get without having to put the SIG levels into him so that I can put them into people that, honestly, I mean, are the primary focus. But uh, we want to get him as big as we can get him, so let's go ahead and take a look here and see what this week comes out with five more chances okay so nobody knew but definitely some important awakenings here or at least um one important awakening i what is hella at 60 okay massacre is an awakening and that's not bad but baron zemo is an awakening and that is absolutely fabulous so no wolverine this week um uh, we're still gonna keep hunting for that uh, that awakening on him uh obviously another 1300 shards towards our next seven star which is great because uh you know still looking for that seven star hulk and uh will not be upset whatsoever if we are able to get him as a matter of fact guys i'm still not upset whatsoever we added ultron we added OG Scholar Early Witch. I mean, some great pulls this week, 100%. So we got quite a bit to work with. We got the new Ronin as well. Um, kind of definitely have some things to level up. So I hope you guys' openings went just as well, if not better. I will see you guys back throughout the week for the Paragon and Cavalier series to continue. Cavalier will be wrapping up very soon. Paragon we are cranking out as I speak so uh, stay tuned to that because that's going to improve our openings we are going to do a huge opening for 4th of July we're going to have a tournament in late July I hope you guys are excited because I know I am I just want to give a shout out to our newest member Centro and I also want to give a shout out to Kyle H for being the first one to donate to the channel I thank you so much, all of you. We are now at 524 subscribers, growing every day. Hit that subscribe button because I appreciate you guys so much. And I will see you back for the next one. Peace out.